here we are, Poconos. We are on the road. The weekend has started. It's time for Pennsylvania Deer Camp 2018. A little chilly out here, about uh, six, eight degrees up here. You might recognize the Wawa in the background right before we get on Route 80. Uh, our scheduled arrival time is about uh, 11.30. We are on the road, Sean and I, and we'll meet Eric today, and uh, Mike and Steve will be up a little bit later, hopefully with pizza in hand. Enjoy the ride. We want you to come on along and see what we're doing and enjoy it just as much as we do. Just arrived, we are here. We gotta get some stuff unpacked and I'll be talking to you in a couple minutes, but uh, whoo, boy it's chilly in here. Well, it is cold inside this cabin. It was so cold our thermometer wouldn't even read. We put the Mr. Heater on to, to give it a kickstart. We're up over 15 and it, that's when the thing kicked in. So the chairman and cook, and I know Techno because he's a cold guy, they requested 71.5. So we got to get a fire going. So what I'm going to do, some paper towels over here. This is Perel. This is the stuff everybody uses these days to clean your hands with. Basically, I think 99% alcohol in here. I'll squirt some of this on there, put a fire starter in there, put some logs in there. We ought to have something cranking. No time, but just remember, you're looking to start a fire sometime. You got some Perel. Squirt it on. Put a little fire starter disc in there next to the paper towels with the Pirelli on it, where it all evaporates off. Let's get that going for a couple seconds and we'll get a nice big one in there. Just arrived at the cabin. Chilly out here. About 8 to 10 inches of snow on the ground. Possibly going to warm up and rain maybe over the weekend, so we'll see what's left. But uh, a little bit different look for the change with some snow in the background. But it is here. We've arrived at our Pennsylvania Deer Camp 2018. Always a great weekend. Always look forward to this. Up here on Friday, and we'll check some things. We'll get settled in. Of course, us being loads, we have to go get some wood. But we'll do that, but we are here to continue the tradition of what is Pennsylvania deer hunting or just deer hunting in general. And uh, hey, we love it. Love coming up here. Uh, the gang gets together and we'll see what happens. We're hoping for a good year. We've got some half decent deer on the, on the trail cam that uh, Eric's trail cam has been sending us pictures over the, over the fall, the last four weeks or so. Not giants, but Pennsylvania hardwood bucks. Hey, have a good time too. Get yourself a beverage of your choice and come along to the tradition of Pennsylvania deer hunting. And just, we just enjoy the heck out of it. I know, I, I certainly do look forward to this. I've been planning on this for weeks and we, we always do messages and emails going back and forth and talking about it and uh, cooking food in advance and prepping things and getting things together. So absolutely uh, love it. Here we are for our, our beer selection for the trip. Always a highlight. I kind of got a little bit confused on which way to go. I was thinking about a couple Delaware breweries. Went to the beer store, I really couldn't find the kind of the selection that I wanted. While I was there, 21st Amendment Brewery, they actually had two variety packs. I think one's a leftover from summer fall, which is okay. You know, even though it's November, it's still fall technically. So we got the uh, variety pack here, five different ones, 15 pack. Got another one down the bottom. 
five different beers in there. Well, we only have one duplicate. So we got nine different beers, three each, and one beer, the uh, blah 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 IPA. Uh, we got six of those. So we got a we got a nice selection. We actually go from like four and a half proof all the way up to eight. This pack on the bottom is just about all IPAs, and up at the top, a couple IPAs and a, and a couple other other type of beers. Uh, 21st Amendment Brewery, they're out of San Francisco. Pretty good if you have the chance uh, to, to try sample one. They're pretty good. I would recommend definitely uh, any of these really are, are good. I haven't found a dud in the batch yet. Hey, we ain't done yet, are we? Got the Corona Premier Pack. Corona's version of Michelob Ultra. Uh, real low carbs, 2.6, low calories, 90, something like that. So we want, we want to tone it down a little bit. Uh, we go with a Corona, and we want to tone, keep a tone, keep that tone. We got the uh, White Claw Black Cherry Seltzers. And the Black Cherry is also very good. The Seltzers are good. Again, low carbs, not a lot of calories. 5% uh, alcohol, not bad, really. So uh, we are definitely set for beer. And, of course, as I said before, nothing with driving, nothing with firearms and beer. Uh, if you see me come in from lunch Monday, say, I never drink do during hunting. And, you know, if I'm going to get a handle a firearm, uh, I don't drink. So cer certainly don't have to worry about anything there. But a nice variety of this, that, the other thing. Concentrating on the 21st Amendment Brewery, always good. We also got some good whiskey, and uh, we'll be featuring that a little later. Well, here's our generator enclosure on there. You can see the amount of snow we got. Look at this. Even to get down to the ramp here. Good 18 inches of snow on this thing blowing up. Definitely good 14 inches on this table over here. Up top here about a foot. Up on the cabin roof. Got a ton of it too. Oh. Let me show you the cabin. Look at that. He is snowed in. Not sure how much of this is going to melt off. And right on cue. Eric has arrived. He's got a new Chevy Colorado. Four wheeler. Come on, get warm, Eric. It's 35 in here. Come on, get in here. Yeah, oh, 32. There you go. Hey, Eric. Wait, what is the, uh, the first time I've been up there with this much snow? Oh, yeah, you were sliding a little bit. All right. So, can we get you unpacked, or you want to just settle in for a couple of minutes after the ride? I'll just settle in. Okay. Four wheeler around up here. There you go. That's the thing to do. No more F-150. Now, now you got the ZR2 Colorado. Yep. Nice. Looking a little dusty coming up that hill, isn't it? For some reason. I know. You guys got to spray some water down. Uh, I don't think you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to worry about that. <laughs> We're gonna have enough. I have a feeling. Are there a lot of trees at the cabin? Yes. Did we process any firewood during the spring? No. <laughs> so, a little gas station wood should get us through today because uh, it's cold and we got practically nothing inside. Moving through. You cold? Yeah. So we got seven bundles. They were five-ish, six bucks a piece, something like that, but do what you got to do when it's single digits and uh, you don't have firewood. Hey, Upstate Deer Hunter uh, sent me a nice package, had a couple hats in it, had some uh, State Fair chicken sauce. This is a marinade. Gonna put it in the bag. We're gonna marinate that for 24 hours. We're gonna have it for lunch tomorrow. Upstate Deer Hunter, appreciate this. I know you also sent a bottle of bourbon from New York and I'm Sean and I are going to get into that also. We'll see that a little bit later. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and shake this up and uh, go ahead and get this chicken marinated. Here's our generator enclosure. 
we got the two wings on there to, to help block, but let's open the door here. what it sounds like. Oh yeah, not bad. Ooh, chilly. Indoor plumbing? Not in this camp. Is this camera on, Tom? Hold on a sec. I know a lot oh. of guys like to see this. Hold on. Oh, right in the pockets. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Hey, we got pizza from Timeless Destinations. We're eating. Yes. And wings. Yep. And yeah. wings. We'll it's catch you. Is this the New York style that you were mentioning? No, no I was going to get that one. too, Tom. I like Timeless better. Because yeah, Tony's, Tony's yeah. or Timeless is Timeless. They're, I think their crust is a little bit thinner. It is. Those. Yes. Whoa, 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 What's up? Thomas! What do you got? I got a brownie! You certainly do. Just I knew you were going to want that right after oh, dinner. Yeah, you know me. Anything else back there you like? Uh, well, I figured the Pop-Tart would be a nice little, well, I have a whole box, but, you know. Check towards the head of the bed. Oh, uh, yeah, check, uh... Yeah! Yes! Thomas! Who yeah. are these guys? <laughs> Your dream dates. Oh, this is f hot. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it out. Woo! <laughs> Bring it out. Somebody's having a nocturnal <laughs> emission tonight. Woo! Woo! Look at this guy's jacked. Oh, oh yeah, he's got an apron, bro. Mm -hmm. That's him right there. Is this clean? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Clean price, man. I am. I'm pretty happy right now, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> And my wife will appreciate that, man. I was going to throw my pillowcases and all out, and I was going to put a towel down. Oh, oh you don't need oh, a towel. Man. Good now. I'm going to put my my head on Rusty. Yeah. Hey, Billy. Billy. And Tommy. Oh, Woo! <laughs> Rusty. Where's Mordecai? <laughs> <laughs> Mordecai. <laughs> oh. uh, that pizza is good. That is pizza going down good. well. It is good pizza. There you go, Art. Nice. What's it say? You gotta check the front and check the back. There, this is man. your buck. This is your buck on Lucky Buck. Yeah. This is your buck on Jones. Lucky Buck. <laughs> so, uh, now I'm Lenny from also Mice got, and Men. Also got one hat for somebody. Oh. Anybody wants the raffle. hat? Raffle. Let's get a raffle. Hat one dollar a piece. Yeah, whoever's winning a poker tomorrow, but you can yeah. see. Yeah, there you go. That could be the winner for poker. Yeah, cover that dome. Cover, yeah. yeah there, there you go. go. Okay. <laughs> dome is covered up. <laughs> it's breakfast time. Steve, of course, uh, 
had to have his pork roll. I wonder how many times he's actually had pork roll up here. Uh, eight to ten. Eight to ten times at least. You have to cook 16 pieces of pork roll. Nice icicles. It's one of them ones that drops off and pokes you right in the eye. <laughs> Even though it's a repeat of a repeat of a repeat, it's still looking pretty good. It does. It smells pretty good, too. Yeah. Yep. Well, it was a nice night last night after the pizza. We watched a couple movies. A little Mark Wahlberg evening, which didn't turn out as good as Mark probably would have liked. Finished one, everybody said boo. Put on another one, and I don't think that one got finished. So uh, Mark, unfortunately, uh, didn't cut the mustard. Nice guy, but... Uh, Hey, you know, it happens. Pizza last night was great from Timeless Destinations. That is another pizza spot that I don't mention in town a lot, but it, it is good. The chairman brought in four pies last night, and they were great. They got crushed, and then throughout the evening, went back another piece, back another piece, back another piece. So, Timeless Destinations, another spot you can check out in Wellsboro. No, no, no cheese for Steve. He's lactose intolerant. He's just intolerant to begin with, anyway. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to turn the gas off, that's just okay. As you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, Camp Cook has recently gained 42 pounds of pure, what do you call, maybe muscle. He's not even giving us a narration to him what he's cooking. It looks yeah, what are you like... doing? We'll get there. Dude, we'll this get is there. brisket. Um, we'll put it on the smoker all day today. Um, we have the full packer and the point, right? Point and two flats. Point and two flats. Um, we're gonna we'll rub it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We'll rub it with some beef broth and uh, <clears throat> bouillon. <clears throat> bouillon. And then we'll uh, then we'll cook it for a while. Mm -hmm. And with this uh, 7:22 in the morning, he's already up and at it after a freezing night in the cabin of going down to 42 in here. Cook, is there a reason you're sweating already? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, Roger, I'm telling Mama, you playing dice. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your belt, Roger. <laughs> Mama. Mama. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> Let it sit for a little while until I get the smoker going. Get that up to temperature, and uh, we'll put it on. You gotta heat the water up. Oh, it'll heat up it'll in the steam. pan, but otherwise, it'll it'll drag once you put it in, it'll drag the temperature down until it heats up. But if you put it in hot, then it'll. It's just science, Mike. You probably learned it before. Great. <laughs> oh, I know science. Uh huh. If you take in so many calories <laughs> and don't sweat out enough calories, <laughs> you put on weight. <laughs> Massive amounts of weight. weight. <laughs> Stuff. Then you right now. Absolutely. Get the fudge <laughs> out of here! You look like King yep. Kong Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> some apple, some seed. Got some Jack Daniels smoke uh, pellets. All right, here we go. Brisket. Ooh. Where you going? Trying to cut a piece of wood. You wood a little. With any power? <laughs> nope. Human power. That's all we got. Out, right. out, and make take a right. Go up to the big house. Okay. To the big house. You let him up in the big house. There goes the chairman of Techno down to Chairman Stand to do a little fixing up. He's going to put some burlap on there. He's going to put some wood over it in case we get that freezing rain that we're supposed to get today so the stand won't be icy he's got a shovel to clean it off supposed to start raining about 11 and i think it's about 8 30 now so we just have a short window to try to do a few things sean and i are going to go check my stand out and then go put a cover on his stand just got all the snow and ice off the roof so we should be good a little bit of rip in here but i do have some duct tape and that may work 
Not going to worry about it now, though. We just put the roof on for that possible weather on Monday. It is very icy up top of that platform. Not good, but once you're there and he's going to be sitting down, maybe even get a little salt on that or something, or maybe some melding if the temps go up. Maybe even a little bit more coverage than the other one we had up there. Yeah, I think so. Lunch time on the grill. Got the grill heating up for some chicken. That's the one I started marinating yesterday. Just going to put a little bit of some extra layer of flavor on there with a little Weber roasted garlic. Looking good. This thing's getting rained on. Yep. Got a nice little char on them. Put them up top for a moment. I'm going to give them a couple minutes up there and then serve them up. Stick should be done. I think they definitely are. You got to be. Looking good. They smell good too. That marinade smell really good. Yeah. Stubs. That's hatch green chili and some sweet heat. Traeger. So we're going to have some chicken, have some lunch. Yeah, take it in. Okay, let's take it in. We'll open it up inside and bring it back down. I'm Steve with Steve's Dried Cured Meats. You like your wet steak that tastes like beef jerky? Just let me cook it. Does I it promise. Have alcohol poisoning? <laughs> Give him our sawdust pork. <laughs> <laughs> we'll soak up I all the time. I guarantee. Does it make you the driest meat <laughs> of all? I, I cook shitty pork meat. Shitty beef meat. I'm not if we can't cook. And I cook nothing wet. <laughs> all dry, all the time. Because I'm used to eating dry meat at home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell me how long that's going to go for. I don't know. I'll have to see the temperature. It's not about time, it's about temperature. Still not done. Almost there. Eric's truck there all iced over. We're starting to get a build up. You can see the pine trees. And uh, it's getting icy. All right, let's get that brisket off. All right. Take that in, we'll go in and wrap it up. I made uh, some steakhouse. These are red potatoes, uh, bacon ranch. I'm gonna bring them in, let them rest for a couple minutes themselves, and uh, put some bacon over the top of them. Picked up six on the plate, go to four. We're talking about expectations for the brisket. Yeah. My ex I actually have better <laughs> expectations of shooting a buck Monday morning than enjoying this food that we're about to have. Gotta be honest. The meat, it's too damn dry. Let's take this. Okay. Let's take that uh, brisket out, snacks. Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't heavy. He's my cooler. Don't put it in my thing. Hey, don't put it in my cooler, man. <laughs> Why not? My cooler. No. Ain't going. I'm not taking responsibility. Does want it? Are we gonna eat it? Is anybody gonna eat it? Not a possibility. Possibility. <laughs> Put it in your cooler. We made it.
Yeah. We may eat it tomorrow. There's no room. <laughs> you don't even have it bag, bagged up. That's a bad luck. Bag it up. Bag it up. Yeah. He's got plenty of room. Yeah, there you go. Jimmy! Basil Hayden? He is my brother. <laughs> What size glass you want? That's so you want. He is a fat and pig. Wake your punk ass up. He is a fat pig. And he burnt the dinner. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gotta get a pipe going, so. Yep, I got mine ready. Well, I got the pipe. So I should get my whole pipe to it. Well, a little after dinner poker, pipes are out. I got my, this is a Savinelli alligator, really nice pipe. Got this in Michigan, a little Corona smoke shop out there. Pot good? Pot's good. I've got Lane, black raspberry. Sean and his, he's going with the mountain camp. So we're going to play a little cards, enjoy two to me. I'm out. I am down. Out. There's uh -huh. a pile here, over here. I didn't see. You're gonna have to. Because I broke my secondary yet. Too small, me or you? Uh, no, that's your yeah, deal. Yeah, me. You know how I'm like practice and shit? You have like real barbecue? Real barbecue. That was like the opposite. <laughs> 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 Yo, we made some bad barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bad barbecue oh. and bad eating choices. <laughs> I weighed 260 and I could no longer cook and I've lost my passion for cooking. I lost my passion. I lost my passion. <laughs> Coming back. And? Stronger than ever. At 195. Okay. Welcome. Which is probably also like, probably the same temp you should have cooked today's meat at. <laughs> All day. Instead of All day, drunk, every day. 400. <laughs> That's going to sear nice. <laughs> and by sear, I mean you know what? give it that nice I might two inch burn four all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> I like to sear the dry end. Real dry. <laughs> I don't know. For five or six hours. <laughs> direct heat. <laughs> the book says smoke it for two hours. I let it simmer for ten. Oh, what do you know? My thermometer says 500. <laughs> oh, it's got to be broke. It's so broke with the thermostat. The other one says 500 too, sensor. That's got to be broke too. It's so probes tender. On, probes on That's right when you probes. probably should have taken it out. <laughs> yeah, it was like two o'clock. Yeah, two o'clock. <laughs> Oh, shit. T Steve, what time are we eating? Between six and seven. <laughs> so the brisket, apparently, was a little dry. So from here on out, dry Cam shit. Cook is out. That's it? Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Uh, Everyone, I think we're supposed to say, oh, no. Please uh, don't. Oh, no. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please, please, don't. Please, please don't ruin please another don't. $300 oh, piece of God. beef. No. Food's about to get better. Food's about to get better. Food's about to get better. Well, this morning is uh, sausage. English muffins, croissants, got some eggs over here, a little cheese. We're going to put it together after that wild night we had last night. I think Saturday night we always go, probably the night we go the farthest. I had a great time laughing. Leg action? Leg action, I already made up and ready. For the... Oh! It's looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna enjoy this. I got some McMuffins and croissants here for somebody. Well, Steve was just saying how long it would take. Yeah. Well, Steve said he doesn't want it in sandwich form, although it looks pretty good. I don't. So this will be you guys. Take your pick. Okay. Action. What do you call me saying? Sorry, Miss Jet. Yep.
I gotta get this on camera so when I sue. Exhibit A. Keep turning, go the other way. Go ahead. Right. Turn. Oh, he's going Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Here on the table is the items that I'm gonna go ahead and be giving away. And I wanna give a big shout out to Jason. Uh, he is from Big Game Athlete. He's on Twitter. Same ID, Big Game Athlete, and YouTube. Let's give him some support and on YouTube. Let's get some subscribers up there. Subscribe to him on Twitter. Basically does some West Oregon hunting themes. Really good stuff there. So let's show him a little bit of support. He provided uh, at least half or more. He sent some things to me personally, and uh, we have some things over here that he provided. And a really big shout out to Jason uh, for supporting this giveaway. And I will have the links to his Twitter and his YouTube account in the notes section down the bottom there. So click the notes and you'll see the description of the video. And then you'll see his links if you just want to go straight to there and not have to Google search. But if you do, you search Big Game Athlete, he's going to come up YouTube and Twitter. So this drawing is going to be open to U.S. and Canadian residents only. Uh, just because of the shipping cost uh, going overseas uh, be exorbitant and uh, I, you know I apologize and all you really have to do is comment on on this video and if you comment several times or I answer you that's okay I'm going to use a random comment generator and it will drop your multiple comments out and it'll just get you down to one and then I'll reply to that comment and try to get in touch with you. I'm gonna have it about 10 days after the video goes up is when I'm gonna do the drawing. I'll say, hey, you're the winner. Contact me, here's my email. Get in touch with me, I'll get your personal info and go ahead and send all this good stuff off to you. Uh, I've commented to people before and they haven't commented back to me, so I don't know if that's something in your settings, YouTube settings that you have to check because Jamie from Michigan, I'm talking to you. I've commented back to you a couple times uh, I wanted to know some info, and I don't think you got the messages because I'm sure you would have replied back to me. If you need to get a hold of me, you want my email address. Uh, if you go to my page, and you can see it right here, the About button. Then if you click on Show Email Address, and then if you have to verify you're not a robot, and my email address will pop up. But we got some good stuff here. Uh, we got a couple hats, pretty good looking hats. Browning Camp Axe. He also sent us little rattling sticks uh, for those of you hunting in the you know right pre-rut when deer are starting to establish their dominance a set of fire tacks uh, the trail tacks that light up when you hit them with your light beautiful things to have I, I use those all the time the Cabela's multi-tool multi here fire starter also something you plug into your cell phone you can read your game cameras off of your cell phone so all that was uh, provided by uh, Jason, and again, I appreciate it. I made up these license plate frames. Uh, this is the Mossy Oak graphics, camo graphics tape that's on here. It is really good stuff. Uh, it will last and last. I have two of them for you in case you're in one of those states that you need two. NWTF knife that I got uh, at one of the banquets I went to has the logo on there. A nice little pocket knife, has the clip on there. Cozies or koozies, whatever you want to call them for your either can or bottle. And I, I, gonna, I put some graphics on here, so I'm going to go ahead and send this along. A couple pens I camoed up, and these pens have the little stylus tip on. So if you're out in the field and it's cold, you do have to, you know, you're texting your buddy or whatever. And it uh, has a little stylus, you just hit this, you don't have to take your gloves off. And uh, they work out pretty nice, I've used these a lot. It is going to be open to 18 or older, unless you get uh, your parents' permission. And reason, because I'm sending a knife and an axe. I don't want to have any issues about sending that out to a minor. So if you are a minor and you do win the contest, just have your dad or mom say, hey, yeah, it's okay to send this stuff. Or if they want to delete those two things, whatever they want to do, that's fine with me too. A lot of good things here. Again, just comment on the video. Ten days, I'll draw the winner and I'll reply back to them. And I'm probably going to film it. And if, uh, they don't, uh, if you don't reply back to me 48 hours or so, I'm probably going to draw another, another name. And again, I will record the person, uh, and if I have to put a video up or something, I will. But I'm, hopefully, I'm just going to get the person that's going to reply back to me. So a little giveaway for uh, our deer camp trip going pretty good so far. We've had a couple issues with the Jeeps getting stuck in that snow out there. Uh, and I think it's just due to the style of tires that's on the Jeep. It's not the Jeep itself. It's the tires just 
the radial tires are great on the road and they're great on gravel roads but once you start getting into snow like this you just really need a little bit more of an aggressive tire and uh, we were getting some slips so uh, Techno helped us a couple times uh, pulling it out of the snow. Well I wonder how these ribs are going to turn out. Something tells me great, Hopefully delicious. juicy, delicious, not dry, not dried out, ruined. Nice. Yep. Well, snacks McGillicuddy out there. <laughs> the yep. He's down to hot dogs and burgers. He's just thrown in the towel. I, I, I said it earlier. He doesn't care. I just don't care anymore. Pappy seasoning. Pappy? For the Carolina. All right. No, no. That guy is a loser. <laughs> zero point zero. <laughs> Just about 12 p.m. These are going on. Another six hours cook. We look forward to it. Eric's ribs, as I call them. Not Technos ribs, but these are straight Eric's ribs. You're heating your uh, stick back up again? What was there? Too much too much juice from the that we should have enjoyed in the brisket yesterday dropped out onto the thing? Well, the ribs are on the grill. Just about time for NFL football to start, so I figured before that I'd come on out. And we're up here for two days of actual hunting. We are limited to bucks only here three points on one side and as far as the the amount of time we get to spend hunting that's the guy's choice if they want to hunt two days if that's all they can do that's all they can do uh, they have vacations that they want to take with their wives and families and go to see other places that's understandable i'm happy with the two days that we want to get sean and i are happy with the two days up here uh, i know personally i've already been out nine ten times down in delaware two days up here is fine with me uh, I know we used to go more with Senior was up here. I know a couple of people said, you know, why aren't you up there longer? But it's those guys can only do that. And I've been out. I've had my fill of hunting. I uh, will be out again in Delaware uh, doing some pistol and probably, probably shotgun in, in January. May try to take a doe in the in the doe season in, in mid-December. So I have a chance to get out there and harvest a deer. And speaking of Delaware deer season, eh, you didn't see a video from me. Well, that's because it would have been, I was sitting in the stand and I didn't see anything. I'm gonna go back in, have some lunch, and then we'll go back out later. That's about what you would have seen over and over and over again from me. John and I went down to our mid-state spot on Friday of the season, and uh, we were sitting together in the stand. And Sean had the gun, and we saw a couple doe come in, and I, I could see the, the gun just sitting there in the stand, not moving, not moving, not moving. And we heard something else and we could see some antlers on it. And uh, I saw the gun go up and I was like, it's a buck, it's a nice one, go ahead and take it. So this is what happened, Sean harvested his first buck. This is his first buck, a nice eight pointer. Let's take a look at it. Go up, let's see that head. I think I'm shaking more than he is. Look at that baby, let's get a little zoom. It's a little while. Nice. <laughs> a handful of years. Yep. It's not ten. Uh -huh. Eight hey. years. I don't know how long I've been trying. Oh, uh, about that. For a buck? For a buck. You held off. You got a good one. Yeah. Let's get a couple stills and... Uh, We'll start sending them out. Really, really happy to be there and share the experience with him. It was a really great day. I, I didn't get a deer as far as I was concerned myself. Uh, it was it was just like me getting a, get a getting a deer too. I think you heard in there saying my thing. I didn't know who was shaking more, me or him. So it, it's it was just like I got one too. And to share the experience with him was great down at the taxidermist he's going to do a, a sneak pose on it looking to the left and that's basically how the deer was when uh, he came in and, and uh, he was harvested so that's going to be a memory that i hope sean can remember you know long after i'm gone it's something that him and his dad shared and 
you know, that'll be, that'll be hopefully a good memory for him forever. I'm sure it will be. Shots out here in the background. You can hear them. You heard more shots out, out front. People do shoot here up on the mountain. There's not a policy that, you know, we don't want you to, so we don't. So maybe they're running down into our area. This is the only video of the year that I'm actually going to ask you to hit the subscribe button and that little bell that's next to it. That's you get the notifications that way. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, that's great. I do have something at the end of the video that says, please subscribe. But uh, this is the only one that I'll personally ask you uh, throughout the year to go and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all the contact that I've been having with uh, some people, the banner back and forth and, and uh, getting to know some people personally uh, has, has really been great. And, and it's, you know, it's something that, that's filled my life a little bit. And, and it's been nice just to meet basically total strangers that you find you have some things in common with and uh, you just uh, form a friendship even if it's just email that's that's just great really just want to give a couple more shout outs here to upstate deer hunter and uh, this is his place pa uh, pappy's place it's in liberty township tiger county and uh, it is the the ultimate pa hunting camp as you can see it's it, it is what it is and and a hunting camp can be as as nice as you want it can be like you see on tv with the with the big halls and the fireplaces and it can be just a cabin in the woods like we have with no running water and uh, no electricity unless we run the generator and i'll tell you one thing boy i would have loved to have one of those recliners up here i don't know how awake i'd be sitting in them all day but uh, oh gosh just to sit back in one of those nice comfortable padded recliners and well I, i'm sure i'd be asleep so Upstate Deer Hunter, I appreciate uh, the package that you sent to me, the bourbon, I got the hat on, and that, that marinade from yesterday's lunch. Uh, the guys were giving it to me. It was so great. They all wanted more, and unfortunately, I didn't have any more to give them, and they were kept, I was teasing them. I only gave an appetizer for lunch. That's how good it was. We just went right through it, and uh, that uh, State Fair marinade was was absolutely fantastic another last shout out uh this is to tim and is uh, tim from camp hideaway and the genesee river camp deer camp it's in upstate new york and uh here's a uh, spring turkey and a six point from last year that tim got appreciate uh, the bourbon that you sent to me tim and uh, the friendship that we've had you guys had a good season up there you've harvested your deer you got great deer yeah, I'm sure you had a lot of good times with your friends up there. So, uh, Tim, thank you very much, and uh, I know you'll be out again. I'm going to go back in, maybe grab another coffee or something. Sunday afternoon, again, football, and then we will kind of get into some ribs for dinner and uh, on to the season tomorrow. What do we have? Rain. It's supposed to hit rain, rain tomorrow. I'll probably be out in the morning a little bit and, and come back in, depending on how hard it's raining and the angle if my cover uh, covers me up enough, uh, so we shall see. Not a good first start of the first day from what it looks like weather-wise. Second day looks uh, halfway decent. And sh guys will be here to Tuesday afternoon, and then uh, Sean and I will be staying overnight. We'll, we'll go ahead and take off on Wednesday morning. A little football, and hopefully the team that you root for wins the game. Extra butter. Yep, extra butter. He's losing too much weight. A little brown sugar. So I also wanted to uh, say thank you very much. Uh, I know there were, were some subscribers that uh, were very courteous and uh, congratulated me on my dough during archery season. So I just wanted to say thank you very much. I certainly appreciate that and hopefully the luck will continue for myself or at least one of us here this week uh, for Buck. So thanks again. Nice glazing. And these will now be going back in for two more hours. Wrap. Over here, right here, is a seven pointer that I got in Black Machine State Forest. Uh, senior hunted up there from about 
oh, 85 to about 2003, I think. Uh, we'd be in Black Michigan State Forest, Center County, Pennsylvania. Every first, usually three days, we hunted Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. But I harvested him 1989, and uh, he is my biggest Pennsylvania deer. Not big, he's a seven pointer, but to me, he's absolutely fantastic. I, I remember him for what he is, and I can, that was 89. I could tell you exactly what I was doing when that deer came in. I was eating lunch, Pop Tart, as a matter of fact, had my back turned to, turn to him. Uh, he came past me and I harvested him. So he was very special to me. I kind of did a whirl right up on him and, and within five seconds uh, I had the shot on him. Uh, and again, he is not great, he is not big, not huge, you're not talking any mass or anything like that, but very special. And that's one thing as us hunters, it's, it's the deer that you want to the harvest. If you're happy with a deer like this and, you, and he's special to you, great. If you want to go for the big ones, Absolutely. The club down in Delaware, we use the, the quality game uh, management practices, eight points, outside the ears, two and a half years older type, type deer. We always get great ones down there. But if you're hunting in an area and this is what you take, it's a trophy. I'm, I don't care if you got a spike. My first deer was a button buck and then first after that was a spike. And I've shot a few more spikes in Pennsylvania after that. And they were always great. It's not like I ever felt cheated. As hunters, I think we've got to pull together a little bit and let the person decide. If you want a small one, it's a trophy. You want to go for the big one and get one, of course it's a trophy, but they all are. These two nice deer will be on our wall now. Senior's best buck, that was a nice eight point that came out right underneath of his stand. He just about shot straight down at him. And he got him in 1990, 89-90, 300 yards apart. And uh, I know uh, this, this deer was awful special to him. He had a great big smile on him when he got that one. Because that's, that's short, nice, it's a nice deer again. It's, it's an eight point, well, you could even say it's a seven if you didn't want to give the bump on the one brow time. But actually, a great deer. And uh, I know he was so happy in his little poker room that he had set up his PC and he used to play some online poker and it sat over and watched him and I know he enjoyed it. Five hours of a lap. And it's time for saucier. Time for some sauce to go on these ribs. It smells really good out here. These are the Carolinas coming in. Hey Matt, if you recognize it, we appreciate it. Eric's gonna go ahead and use this right now. Yeah, thank you. Nice job on seeing what we need and certainly helping us out. Stubs going on here, regular Stubs original. That it is. You can't go wrong with Stubs as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, look at that brush. Working like a charm. Not like that plastic spoon, huh, Matt? Back in they go. One more hour. Be getting the mac and cheese ready pretty soon. Go with it. Woo! Wash of the brush. Get the stubs off and get some sweet baby rays on. Sweet heat. Yeah, it might be a little bit. Yeah, a little. <laughs> Is the door open for the last 15 minutes? No, you did that quick. It's only been eight. We got out here is a little mac and cheese. They go with it. This is specialty. I, I cooked up with a little jalapeno bacon on the top of it. Yeah, just a... All right, the ribs are done. The Iraq ribs are coming in. Guys, two at a time. No, no. I'll come out for it. I'll come out for it. Oh my god. Where's that new base top? Only three quarters of the table. Over in the kitchen area. You see it? Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, 
you're good. Sorry about that. Final touches. Down to earth. Quarter of six. We got some rain out there coming heavy. We're gonna try to go out for just a little bit and then see how that rain is. It's supposed to be a soaker for most of the day. I think it looks like this afternoon we may, may turn to snow, so uh, we may end up coming back, but uh, we'll see what happens with the dressing go out. Sideways is raining, so probably gonna head in pretty soon. You know, back at the cabin, rain started coming down a little bit harder. Uh, started to get pretty wet, so fog rolling in here with this. Uh, not a great opening morning. Uh, didn't see anything for the hour plus, uh, hour and a half, two hours I was out. The rain blowing in, and uh, a couple screenshots here for you to. We definitely have the green and heavy green and yellow over us and not not really good, not good for hunting and I, I really have an open stand, I have the roof but it's not like I'm in a blind or anything like that. I did hear some shots today uh, but kind of they're all up in this one area and I, I have a feeling maybe they had some doe licenses or something up there because they're, they're, I don't think there would have been that many bucks up that way but who knows. Telephono. Oh. To live in an afternoon. Uh -uh. Here goes the chairman. He's going to take a little walk. Hopefully he won't get too soaked. You can see it's just pouring down. Back out for the afternoon. An hour and a half or so, two hours. The chairman, I think, is down at his stand, or I'm not sure if he went to Cook's Blind. He's seen a few deer down there, some doe. So when this rain started slowing down, they started coming out as deer usually do. So we'll see what happens this evening. We're going to kind of try treat tomorrow as more of an opening day because with the weather here, I think it is going to be more of an opening day with everybody out, not everybody of us, but every all the hunters out because I think a lot of them stayed in today with this, this pretty bad weather, cold wet and if you didn't have a blind you were soaked. I'm looking for my best Pennsylvania deer. I know what I said in the cabin earlier but I also said it's Hunter's choice to see what he wants to take. So small six I would let walk uh, but if something bigger comes by then we'll go ahead and fill the tag or at least attempt to fill the tag. About getting dark. Probably have about another 15-20 minutes left. It did just about stop raining. So, I'm not sure if they're going to be moving at this time, but they should be in the morning. So, go back, have some dinner, and uh, get after them tomorrow. We're over here. It's just about it. I don't saw like eight. It's all about eight. Eight's better than zero. Onion. Pepper and onion, Old Bay. And cheddar. And now, I didn't get the cheddar because of Steve. Oh, yeah. Little bays. Just Italian. Sweet Italian. Mm -hmm. These look like some really some good filling rolls from Steve. Pepper and onion. Pepper and onion and pepper and onion and old bay. Got cheese on them? Mm-hmm. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Since in the spirit of narcos. <laughs> So that wind sounds like it's a weapon a little bit. All right, getting ready. A little snow last night. Getting ready to head out. All right, Eric, good luck. All right. Get that one that Mike keeps saying. Just left. It's about 5:20. Uh, the rest of the guys aren't up yet, but they'll be up within a couple minutes. Just made it to my stand. It was 5:30 a.m. Gotta get situated. All right, we're about ready to head out. Second morning, which really to us is like opening morning, since yesterday was really not oh, a good shit. day whatsoever. inch of snow last night. A little bit boy, it's stuck to the trees, so it's blocking a little bit, but we should see some things moving if things are moving, that's for sure. It's down quarter of seven. Bingo shooting time. Here's my view. Just send a text to everybody. See, see if they see anything and nothing so far. Not sure if it's the snow or the wind, but uh, you know, that's how it goes. It's eight o'clock right now. Snow stopped. Some of it's uh, come off the trees a little bit, as you can see in the background. But uh, we'll hang in there. I know a big, uh, big Eric is toasty down there. And uh, Mike and Steve also have the little buddies and they're nice and warm. A little bit after 9, 9.15 or so, we've just had three dough milling around between snacks and techno. That's about it so far. Uh, a little windy, a lot of snow around as you can see. And uh, it's a nice morning, but uh, not really that much moving. Not sure if uh, Snacks is coming back, uh, but we usually make a trash run about noon or so, get rid of all our stuff down at the uh, transfer station in Wellsboro. About ready to go out this afternoon again. It's about uh, three-ish. A little before three, and uh, Sean and I are going to head back out to our stands. We'll head, we'll head one way. I'll head the other. We'll see what happens this afternoon. Uh, this is the last evening for us. I know it's only two days, but that's what we do, and we're happy with it. So, uh, you know, I know we could definitely stay longer. Season is two weeks. We stay two days. I know that seems short to a lot of people, but uh, we've we've been out hunting, and. We both have a lot of hunting ahead of us, too, because of what we can do close to the house. So uh, a lot cheaper, a lot easier to, to do. So that's what we'll be doing. So Sean will be heading down. He's just going to post up on the ground. I'll hit my tree stand over here on the ridge, and uh, we'll hang to five, and then come on in, and the rest of the guys will get going. And uh, Sean and I will enjoy a nice, peaceful, quiet evening here, a little leftovers. And uh, a little bit of maybe a couple more libations when we get back.
guys are getting ready to pack up. And unfortunately, no, there ain't any deer in the back of them cars. There they go. It's a mad dash. Techno, aka Old Medical Man, has three procedures he's got to be present for tomorrow. And he has to get up super early, so he needs to hit the road. It's certainly understandable. Would have been nice if he could have kicked back with us for a while and maybe had some dinner or whatever. But certainly understand he's got to hit the road. The other guys work tomorrow morning, unfortunately. Well, there goes the chairman and snacks. They're ready to head back. Going to stop. Nice restaurant, I think, on the way home. But uh, they are packed ready to go we got some snow coming down oh, it's like a ufo Bye. next up here techno packing up also and there goes the techno beat techno business tomorrow gotta get back see you later Now having a little El Sully with our leftover dinner tonight. Some buns heating up on the stove and uh, some pulled beef or, or pulled pork ribs. There you yeah. go. Fill up those uh, little cheese on there, fill up those buns. That will definitely be a dinner. Good stuff. Well again, thanks to Upstate Hunter for sending this Finger Lakes bourbon down to us. We're going to do a little pour here, cover that first cube. Nice. Sit back and take some sips, see how we like it. Of course you can see, maybe we've already sampled it. Possibly. Let's take a sip, Let's see what we got here. A sample. That's a good one. Oh yeah. A little bit different taste than I say a Tennessee or a Kentucky. Mm -hmm. But if it's from New York, it should have something that makes it a little bit more distinct. Yeah, nice aftertaste on it. I don't nice. know how to describe it exactly. I think it's I think it's a little bit of caramel. Mm. I think caramel. What do you say? I can see that. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm tasting it, I think. That's good. So again. Kevin, hopefully uh, down there in your camp, you guys made out a little bit better, but I know you were kind of in the same rain snow pattern we were. So uh, yeah. we'll hear from you and see what happened. But uh, again, thanks for sending this on. I know Sean and I appreciate it. Definitely do. We're going to relax, watch a little bit of TV, movie. See what's uh, in the DVD me, book here. Yeah, it's quite a big one. Uh, <laughs> we've got... Uh, quite a few that we brought up actually two or three because I think there's another one over there yeah usually just leave them up here at this point yep yeah, we certainly do uh, we did spend a lot of time watching Narcos Mexico this trip we kind of uh, binge watched that well the during the entire during, season yeah the entire season all ten episodes uh, found it very good it was done very well for some that had 70 to 80 percent subtitles it draws you in that you're paying attention to what they're saying and you can even pick up a little spanish probably uh watching that over 10 hours yeah yeah i think we might be more yeah. fluent than we realize now yeah absolutely i think i know a few more curse words in, in uh, <laughs> spanish than i knew before <laughs> got my savinelli alligator back out i'm going for the old shenandoah appalachian berry we are in the appalachians you don't think of northern pennsylvania to be appalachian mountains but it's part of the chain and uh, it stretches up the east coast from down south you think of it more you know down down south as the appalachians but it stretches all the way up here so i kind of i saw that and i, I said you know i think i gotta bring that sean uh speaking of narcos uh, no uh, this is actually lane black raspberry that i bought at the pipe shop that comes in the you know the I forget, this is like a one or two ounce bag or something like that. So uh, I had that the other night. He's going to enjoy that 
For those of you looking for a nice aromatic, if you haven't tried it, Lane Black Raspberry, highly recommend that one. That is very good tasting, smooth all the way through. Smells great, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he's going to load up his pipe with that. So we're kind of sticking with the uh, berry theme tonight. And uh, I'm sure it's going to go well with the bourbon. Yep. And we're going to sit back. As you can tell, no, we didn't get any deer. Uh, there was one deer taken up the street from us. It was the eight pointer that we had on the game cam. Here he is on the cam. As you can see, pretty nice. And here he is on the meat pole uh, up the camp. We call it the New York camp. It's up the street, but it's kind of a, a mixture of guys from all over the Northeast, New York, and Northern Jersey, PA. So. Uh, they got a nice camp up there, big, a lot of guys and have a lot of fun. 15-year-old boy got it Monday, 9 o'clock, and he was sitting under a pine tree and came by and harvested. So good good job for him. You're happy when a kid uh, gets his first deer like that and gets starting into maybe something that could be a lifelong pursuit for him and learn the safety of guns, etc. You've heard me say that before. So good job for him. If they weren't down our way, uh, snacks. Thought he saw a buck, but uh, he couldn't get his gun up in time. And you know how the deer are in the woods. They're, they're there, and then they're gone. And then it really never came past anybody. So uh, we're not sure what it was. I have a feeling it was either one of the six or seven points or possibly the four-pointer that we saw on the camera also. Uh, so that's how it goes for us. The weather really did not cooperate. Yesterday was such a sloppy day, heavy rain. I did manage to get out in the morning and the afternoon. The chairman got out in the afternoon a little bit, and uh, so did snacks. But it was, was really a miserable day. Today, much better uh, with the snow. It was a little bit windy and a little bit cold, even though it was hovering about 30-something degrees. Uh, it was one of those cutting winds. It cut right through you. A little snow kind of throughout the day also. So, yeah, I know it's only two days, but we're going to go ahead and go. Go get them in Delaware, as they say. I know Chairman will hate me for saying that, but we're going to go get them there. At least give it a try. We got doe season coming up. Then we go into uh, pistol season, which are both on our bucket list to harvest a deer, whether it's a doe or a buck, with a pistol, short range, uh, just to test yourself a little bit. So that's something we want to do. And then we go into shotgun. And then if we still have anything left in us, there's a little muzzleloader season. That's the going towards the end of January. So uh, we're just going to sit here, have some uh, drinks. I do have a Dogfish 120 I brought up also, just one that they say is anywhere from 15 to 20 percent alcohol. So that's about 36 to 40 proof for a beer. And we're going to split that six ounces each and have that a little bit later. And again, watch a little bit of TV. So everybody, that was uh, Deer Camp 2018. Hope you enjoyed, even though... Uh, you know, deer didn't happen. We had a lot of fun. Uh, I know snacks got smashed under brisket, but th that happens sometimes. And I th I'm sure he's going to make a comeback, and some someday we'll be calling him Camp Cook again, maybe. He said he retired. Yeah, I know, and I, we got the we got the video to prove it. Boy, did he look retired. <laughs> he said that he looked really retired. Uh, everybody, have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Wayrock 85. Syntax 77. Have a good one.